I figured they wouldn't be annoying here. I was wrong. Caleb, be careful. So this little girl was the first one awake this morning. We've had a busy morning already. We have played peekaboo, we've read books, we've drinking milk. We've, we've just been really busy. I think we unloaded an entire box of markers. Are we having fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah, are we having fun playing together? Laura's the second one awake, and what are you doing? This. She's unloading the dishwasher because she's a big girl helper. What's mommy making? She's making pancakes. Mm. I'm really impressed because Laura's putting all the silverware in the right spot. Good work. So this is the gluten-free pancake mix that we've been using. It's Pamela's brand. Every cook needs a taste tester. What do you think? So the big kids have play practice every night lately and it goes pretty late. So the kids aren't getting to sleep until 9.30 or 10 p.m. which is late for them. And so they're also sleeping in later than I've ever seen them sleep in. I think this is a world record for Caleb. So comment below, what is the absolute latest that you've ever slept in? Let us know. My girls found this perfect little perch. The windowsill. <laughs> Sitting there eating their pancakes. Elise is the first to emerge. What woke you up? My walkie-talkie was on and it picked up something. Oh man. Do you want some pancakes? <laughs> Good morning. The boys are still sleeping. Janae is going to town with her spoon skills again. Look at that. Oh no. Where's that? Oh no, this could go bad. Nene, it goes in your mouth. Mom's not in the mood for finger painting with yogurt today. <laughs> yeah! I thought you said I might be able to make them. The pancakes? You slept too long. Oh, what time is it? It's 9.19. Oh, how did I sleep so long? You must have been super tired. I think I broke my record for sleeping in. I think you did. How's your pancakes? Mmm. And he's awake. All my kids are finally awake. So as a lawyer, each year you have to do 15 hours of continuing learning education courses. Today I'm coming to a full day of classes. It's funny because at the university I'm at, it's the freshman orientation. It was over 15 years ago that I was a freshman of college, but the people seeing me asked if I was a freshman. So growing up, I hated looking young, but as I get older, it's a blessing. We just saw a deer in our yard. I love that we live close enough to the woods that we sometimes see deer in our yard, but it's not an everyday thing, so we all still get really excited about it. And oh, it looks like there's something on the camera. There you go. So this is one of the ones I can actually sit with you. Should I sit with you and we'll swing together? Hi. This is so much better than pushing a swing. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> the kids brought their walkie talkies to the park. I let the kids bring their walkie talkies to the park because I figured they wouldn't be annoying here. I was wrong. They're loud, but they're having fun. Hello. It's much easier to talk to people this way. Go! You're pushing Nene. I am. Woo! Why is it also the code? Oh, there's a code? Yeah. Oh, you girls are having fun. Eight, nine, uh, eight, four, three, seven, nine. Are you guys talking on the walkie talkies to each other? Yeah. Even yeah. though you're right next to each other? Testing, testing, are you here? It just feels so good to be outside today. It's overcast and the weather is perfect this morning. It's like 70 degrees. It feels great to be outside playing with friends. Uh, but, but it's really talking about uh, civility. Behavior, should I say uncivil behavior. Uh, so during our little 15 minute break, I thought I'd do something a little more fun. It's a lot more fun to do this than to listen to lawyers talk, but I still have a couple more hours to go. Isaac is attempting a one-handed football catch. Oh, so close. Okay, one more try. Yes, good work.
leftover birthday party pizza and plums for lunch. Plums are probably one of Isaac's favorite fruits. Plums and blueberries. They were on sale, so we got them. Isaac invented a napkin catcher. There. So Laura just finished quiet time, and this is how she came out. You look awesome. What'd you do during quiet time? I played jewelry beads and read books. And I read this. You read the manual for the walkie-talkies? In quiet time, I finished a book and I learned how to do splits on both of my legs and middle splits. Oh my goodness. Wow, Elise, you worked so hard, nice work. Apparently during quiet time, Caleb built a gymnastics area in our basement. Welcome to Caleb Fun. Are you trying to walk on it? What? What? Are you doing one-handed push-ups on top of this thing? Five. Caleb, six, be careful. Seven. What a cool gymnastics Many place. Hands. So all the work in our yard is still not finished, but there's been so much rain and there's projected to be more rain that they're not gonna be coming back for a few days to work on it again. But here's the progress. I cannot believe that this used to all be just completely covered. We have all sorts of ideas for this space out here. We think we wanna move the trampoline out here so it'll be under the canopy of the trees. We would love to put a hammock out here, a picnic table, you know, really enjoy the space. So today is the first time since we've been gluten-free that I'm just kind of throwing dinner together and that makes me really happy because to me that shows a lot of progress. Like I, I do need to plan meals a lot but I also have stuff in the pantry and have ideas in my mind that I can just put something together. So we are gonna have a chicken pesto pasta. Um, what are you playing with? Um, stacks. These are stacks? All right, here's dinner. This is the chicken pesto pasta, watermelon and veggies. Did you try the sauce yet? Cause I kind of made it up. It's delicious and creamy. So I have my shoes on. And Janae saw me with shoes on and got really concerned that she needed shoes on too. Yes, <laughs> Laura has flip flops on too. Which is caps. And hey, you're the municipal prosecutor, aren't you? <sighs> well, that's done. Unfortunately, it's now rush hour traffic, which I normally don't have to deal with anymore. But soon I'll be home. What do you hear? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Welcome home. Mm. Hey, <laughs> she really missed you. It looks like. <laughs> I missed you. I'll give you a hug. Okay, where are we headed? To the store. So a friend of ours just had twins and I'm headed to her baby showers. So we're picking up a present and Laura wanted to come shopping with me. She has all sorts of ideas of what babies need for presents. They need swimsuits and diapers. Yeah, we could buy one of these. Those are overalls, huh? That's for the baby boy. We're gonna get something for the baby boy and the baby girl. How about two of them? That's cute, do you know what it says? Number two. It says Captain Cute. There is Princess Bibbs, kidding me. Are you kidding me? There's Princess Bibbs. Yeah. Red alert, there are Princess Bibbs. Do you think Nene would want one of those? Oh yeah, let's get one for Nene. Do you think Nene would like that? Aquaphor is one of our favorite things for diaper rashes. We picked out a simple little outfit for the baby boy and a swaddle blanket. Now we're looking for something for little girl. It's zero size. It is zero size. Good job, that'll probably be just right for her. Well, it's true that parts of the law are boring. I should say that I love being a lawyer. I'm really grateful that I've continued on that path, that we have the law firm and we're able to help people because there's a lot of people who need legal help and it's it's a blessing to be able to, to help people who are going through a hard time. I would love to hear in the comments things that you're able to do to help people when they're in a hard time. Like what's a recent time where you were able to lift someone, help someone, brighten someone's day? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing those kinds of comments from you. Good night, Jay House out. <laughs> Hi, dude.